Hello and welcome to my craft room here in my 1902 farmhouse. My name is Alicia with Country Mama Musings and today we're getting together to work on block 61 of our heirloom Afghan crochet along and this block is called the rib stitch. So grab your supplies and let's get started. For block 61 we're going to need our size H crochet hook and whatever color you've determined to be color A for your afghan. For me, that is white. And we're gonna start with a chain of 26. Starting with a slip knot and getting that on our hook. And chain 26. One, two, three, four, five, six, 25 and 26. Let's move on to row one. If you look at the anatomy of the chain, we have this bottom loop here, we have the top loop here, but if you look at the back, there's a ridge and there's these straight lines of our chain. We're gonna be working in these and I'll show you how that's done. We're gonna work in the second chain from the hook. So not counting the loop that's on our hook, here's our first chain, here's our second chain. We're just gonna twist our chain over a little bit. We're gonna locate this straight up and down little bit of yarn right there. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both loops on our hook, and that is our very first single crochet. We haven't started very many of our blocks in this fashion, and I don't recommend it for the other blocks because then your blocks will be smaller. But for this one, this is where we're starting, according to our pattern. Going to the next chain, locating that ridge in the back there, and completing a single crochet. Here's our next chain, right here. Rotating it over, and you can see that little bump right there. You're gonna go underneath that bump and then complete your stitch. One more time, going to our next chain. When you roll it over, you see this bump right here. Placing your hook, you can use the, the aid of your thumbnail if you need to. Go underneath and grab your yarn, pull it back through, whoops, and complete your single crochet. You're going to continue all the way down your series of chains here completing your single crochets. I'll meet up with you when we get to the end. 23. 23. <laughs> Being a little tricky there. Take your time. 24. Whoops. Boy, I'm just messing up here, aren't I? And right here is our very last chain. And here's our very last little bump. We're going to go underneath here. This makes single crochet number 25. So when you complete row one of this block, the rib stitch, we're gonna have 25 single crochet. Let's move on to row two. For row two, we're going to chain one and turn our work. We're going to place a single crochet in the back loop of each stitch across. So when we look at the top of our stitch here, we've got these two loops. And normally when we do a block, I tell you, always make sure you get both loops on your hook. Not in this case. For this block, we're only working in the back loops. Now according to our pattern, it says in each stitch across. So it does not say in the next single crochet. It just says in each stitch across. Here is our last single crochet right here. We chained one, go right back to that stitch. Here's the top of that stitch. And we're gonna go in the back loop. The back loop is the one that's furthest away from you. So we're not gonna go in the one facing us. We're gonna slip underneath the one in the back. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through both loops on our hook completing that single crochet, and that's gonna make the front of the stitch pop out. 
We're going to locate our next stitch right here, only going underneath the back loop and completing our single crochet. Locating our next stitch, going just to the back loop and completing our single crochet. You're going to want to have 25 single crochet when you get to the end of row two. I'm going to continue with my single crochets and I will meet up with you there. 23, 24, and right here is our very first single crochet at the last row. I'm going to work in the back loop there and there's 25. So at the end of row two, we see that we have a nice row of single crochet stitches and we've got our front loops poking out to the front here. Let's move on to row three. Hey, are you enjoying putting together all of the beautiful heirloom sampler blocks for our heirloom Afghan crochet along? If so, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, check out the playlist that has all of the videos for every block for our crochet along and be sure to share the video with your friends that like to crochet. Okay, let's get back to our project for this week. Technically, according to our pattern, there is no row three. We're simply going to repeat row two for the remainder of our block. Just always remember to work in the back loop and that you always want to have the same number of stitches across, which in this case is 25. I'm going to complete a few more rows of row two and I'll meet up with you when we're at the halfway point. So again, we're going to chain one and turn our work. Going to the very first stitch here, locating the back loop only, completing a single crochet. The next stitch, back loop only, completing a single crochet. This will go relatively smooth. Once you get the knack of it, just remember to keep track of your stitch count. Okay, I'm gonna keep working on my block and I'll meet up with you at the halfway point. I'm here at about the halfway point of our block and you can see I've completed several rows. When you work only in the back loop, it creates this like hill and valley effect. Let me see if I turn my work this way, if you can kind of see all of the little divots there where this creates these little hills and valleys. That's why this is called the rib stitch. This is a stitch that you would commonly find in a ripple afghan. You can see here that our sides are nice and straight. If your work is starting to veer out a little bit, possibly you've added an extra stitch and you need to go back and find where you only have 25 single crochet across. On the opposite of that, if your work is starting to turn in, it may be that you've missed a stitch and you have less than those 25 single crochet. Regardless, if you're experiencing one of those, either going a little bit too far out or starting to come in, you need to go ahead and pull your work out until you get to the point where you have the 25 stitch count. This is looking great. I'm going to continue on repeating row two until our block is approximately seven inches square and I'll meet up with you there. 24 and finally 25. This is my last row for block 61, the rib stitch. I'm about square. I'm going to fold this corner down to this corner here and you can see it forms a perfect triangle so we know that we're square. What a tedious, tedious little square this is. The next time you see a ripple afghan, just thank the person who made it because it really is a lot of work to complete this stitch. Very time consuming, not difficult, but very time consuming, but it is very pretty. So now that you've completed your block, it is not quite seven inches square, but once you get your uh, edging on and it pulls out a little bit, it's gonna stretch, it's got a little bit of a give to it there. No worries, don't worry if it doesn't quite measure seven inches, that's going to be okay. Do not finish off, you're going to complete your edging now with the same color. You're going to complete round one of your edging in color A, 
And then if you've chosen color A to be the color that you use to join all of your squares later, go ahead and complete round two of the edging with color A as well. And once you get your edging done, there's only one thing left to do. Go ahead and get yourself a tag and mark this block as block 61, the rib stitch, and go ahead and set this aside with your other blocks until we're ready to put our afghan together. So that's it from the craft room today. Until I see you next time for block 62, the basket weave, I'd love for you to take care of yourself, take care of each other, and have a blessed day, and I will see you here next week. Bye-bye.